Hi everyone, hi girls in STEAM. My name is Michelle and I work at the IBM Toronto Software Lab as a content designer. So this workshop is all about technical writing, what it is and what I do at IBM as a content designer. But before I get into that, I'm going to give myself a brief introduction. I have my bachelor's in social sciences. It was a joint honors program in political science and communication from the University of Ottawa. And after that, after I realized I love telling people stories and getting to know getting to know people's background and experiences and asking tons and tons of questions, I decided to pursue journalism and communication a bit further by getting my Master of Media in Journalism and Communication from Western University. But in order to complete that degree, I needed to also complete a internship, which is how I landed at IBM. So in order to branch out and get out of my comfort zone, because I was writing about kind of like the similar thing um, over and over again, I realized I didn't know much about about computer science, coding, the tech industry, things that are very important today. So I took the leap and I decided to apply to IBM as a technical writer. So what does a technical writer do? A technical writer communicates complex ideas in a very clear and understandable way. So in the fields of IT, finance, software, computer science, uh, engineering, and so on, there are tons of technical writers out there trying to communicate complex ideas in a more simple and understandable way for our customers and users. Now I will briefly go through four key skills and concepts that I've learned while working at IBM and what I think will contribute to becoming a strong technical writer. Number one is always do your research and always be comfortable with asking questions. Before, during and after the process of writing a technical communication or anything really, you should always understand the product as best as you can. Number two, get to know your audience. What do they expect? through the documentation or tutorials that you're creating. If you know your audience, you will definitely be effectively communicating to them. Number three is be a strong writer. There are various ways to be a strong writer, but in technical writing, you must always remember that you're taking the complex ideas and making them way more simple and easy to understand. Number four is design. And that's why we're called content designers at IBM. It's because there's much more um, being taken into account when you're a technical writer at IBM. It means that you're creating graphics. It means that you're creating videos and tutorials. It means that you're thinking about the architecture of the documentation that you're creating, how it flows, the user experience while you're creating all this content that the user will be using once you're done. So those are four key skills and concepts. You have the research, audience, writing skills, as well as the design. Now we're going to get into the fun part of my workshop where we put technical communication to work. So I am going to give you a certain set of instructions and you're going to draw exactly what I'm saying. Next, I will give you a second set of instructions and you're going to see why it is so important that technical communication is as clear and precise as possible because you're going to see or hopefully see two different sets of outcomes. So now we are going to get our notebooks out and we're going to draw exactly what I'm going to tell you to draw. So now I'm going to give you a different set of instructions. This set of instructions, uh, I think, are way more effective in communicating the task I want you to complete.
So if by the end of the second activity you have something on your page that looks remotely close to a bird, then I did a decent job of telling you how to draw a bird. But maybe when you review the instructions that I've given you, you see that I left a little too much detail out here and there. It's always important when you're giving some sort of procedure um, for someone to follow out a task to test out the instructions with multiple different types of audiences. Some people might want more instructions, some people might not need as much instruction, but it's always important to provide as much detail as possible. So before I leave you today and before you can go off and explore technical writing, communications, professional writing, content design, I want to leave you with a final thought and that is the next time you're following instructions or the next time you have to give instructions, really think about the details that you have to give. Think about ways you can improve it and make the reader or your friend or your parent have a better experience with the task you want them to complete. You can really find technical communication anywhere and a good example of this is this book that I used to follow when I was younger called How to Draw Animals and in here it gives really detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to sketch animals and as a technical writer today it actually really helps to look through something like this even if it's not connected to software to really enhance or um, improve my technical communication skills. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned at least something new today and um, something that maybe sparked your interest. So good luck and I hope you enjoy the rest of your program.